Hey everyone, it is Christopher, owner of Balahack Airsoft Field, Balahack Outdoor, and uh, I have an announcement in terms of the field, which probably many of you saw it coming. In the state of Virginia, it is illegal to host an event with 10 or more people, and that's going to be following to many other states. So for the next two weeks, Balahack Airsoft Field will be closed to the public. No more pew? What's good fam, it's Lone Wolf here and today I want to talk to you guys about the pandemic that is sending the nation into a frenzy. This pandemic, known as the coronavirus, has caused entire countries to completely shut down. The United States has gone from shutting down travel to China to completely halting international travel. Whole cities are closing down. Concerts have been postponed. Colleges are moving their classes online and shutting down campuses. Sports events have been canceled or postponed from the little leagues all the way up to the pros. Restaurants have been forced to become drive through or delivery only. Businesses are cutting hours or completely shutting down. And a lot of people are now working from home as they self-quarantine. So how does this specifically relate to the airsoft community? Well, on top of all this, airsoft events have been canceled or postponed. Airsoft fields are closing, airsoft shops are closing. Despite this, some fields and shops remain open. Is this wise? Is this safe? Should we even be playing airsoft while this virus is still spreading? So what is the coronavirus? Let's take a look at the World Health Organization to figure out what this virus is. The coronavirus or COVID-19 is an infectious disease that spreads through touch so it can be spread from person to person through small droplets from the nose or mouth, which are spread when a person with coronavirus coughs or exhales. The most common symptoms of this disease are fever, tiredness, and dry cough. Most people, roughly 80%, recover from the disease without needing special treatment. However, older people and those with underlying medical problems like high blood pressure, heart problems, or diabetes are more likely to develop serious illness. Now that we know what the coronavirus is, how it spreads, and what its symptoms are, here's what I think. If you are an indoor airsoft field, you should be closed. Considering this virus is spread through contact, I think the risk at an indoor facility is too great for this virus to, to be spread. That being said, if you are an outdoor field, I think you should be able to remain open. While there is still some risk of the virus spreading, it's pretty slim. Airsoft as a whole is a non-contact sport, and physical contact is typically kept to a minimum. At most outdoor fields, you are staging in your cars or outside on tables, where still contact is minimal. Overall, I think it is pretty safe to say that the spread of this virus is very unlikely at an outdoor field and very likely at an indoor field. So stay safe out there guys. Wash your hands. Remember to steer clear of those who are high risk, such as the elderly and those with compromised immune systems. Also, please stay informed. Keep an eye on the news so you stay up to date with everything going on and make sure to verify the information you receive, whether it's from a friend, from a news station, or even a podcast that you listen to, or the radio. Make sure you verify that information before you accept it as truth. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below and smash that like button while you're at it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.